But uh, you can see how like when I when you flip it a little bit, it moves a little bit up that scale. And then it's funny this this car it sounds funny sometimes because that downpipe is so short. But you can it feels fine. But then you can see where I like I screw up the fueling line. And <coughs> Like it feels like trash, and then also I haven't really touched them. They're not that great. It's not as good as it was with the 80s. The 160s definitely have uh, a different range for sure, and I have to work on that. But with my 80s, I could be like, ooh, and it would be like 5k, no problem. So we'll mess around with it a little bit of work. But uh, basically, there's like a bunch of different accelerometer enrichment settings, <coughs> and you can change it from time based or that Excel pump feature. And I think the time based is a little bit more complex. Uh, that's where you get a little bit more options here. You can mess around with more things. And let's go do the auto scale here. See the whole scale. What happens is, is this is like the limit of where that TPS Excel comes on. And I think you can see when I move this aside, there's a TPS Excel little qualifier down there. That'll blink green when it's turning on the TPS Excel. And basically, you need to find a happy medium of when that's turning on and you're getting into the throttle. Because sometimes you think it's turning on too soon. You just don't want it to happen while you're like cruising on the highway, like they're turning on and off because your fuel will just keep getting rich for no reason. But uh, sometimes that has to be a little bit closer to like almost happening before you want it to, to get a clean hit out of it. And then uh, some, of the, some of the cars, it's funny, like, you can delay that like 50, 100, or whatever, and they're fine. But some of them really like it to be choked down quite a bit. Then there's options for like uh, how much enrichment, like less enrichment below a certain RPM or no enrichment above a certain amount. Because most of the time, a car like this with, if you're above 5,000 RPM and you're pedaling or doing a burnout or holding it or pushing in and out, and it's just trying to accelerate your it doesn't need any enrichment because it's already so far into an enrichment map like the throttle. The amount of throttle you're moving from like 100 to 80 is basically insignificant. So it doesn't really need anything. Most of what you're doing is when it's shut to when it's open, that initial hit of air is where it's really, you know, you get the feel and everything else. Kind of compensate 